Today I have some more spring nail art ideas for you, part stamping and part freehand design. You can always add stickers or other decals if you don't want to draw anything. Also if you have trouble painting on your other hand, there is an easy fix for that. So keep watching to find out how. Since Easter is coming up, leave a comment and let me know what you like most about Easter. I look forward to the chocolates myself. As always, apply base coat to protect your nails. Then a layer of white polish as your base color. Allow that to completely dry before moving on. The image plate I'm using today is the XL Image Plate D, which is available from my website. You can find many animal prints as well as this leafy design on this plate. Apply stamping polish over the design, then scrape off excess polish using the scraper. Transfer the image using the stamper. Check that the image is complete, then aim and roll it over the nail. In between stamps, you can clean the image plate, stamper and scraper with nail polish remover. Then repeat steps for the remaining nails. When it's time to do your other hand, it helps if you wear a disposable glove over it. So when you're cleaning the plate with remover, it doesn't ruin your designs. But make sure your nails are dry or else it will get stuck to the glove. When all your fingers are done, soak a flat brush in polish remover and clean around the cuticles. Next, to create the little ladybug, dip a detail brush in red polish and fill in a big circle shape. Then use a black polish to draw in a half circle above the body to create the head shape. Add in two little curved antennas above the head. Next, add a black line going down from the middle of the body as a guide. Then extend the line into an elongated triangle shape to open up the wings. To finish up this design, use a dotting tool to dot in the spots. On my ring finger, I went with a little caterpillar, which is super easy to recreate. Just add alternating dots using a dotting tool or a toothpick. Wipe the point in between dots so they don't mix together, then add a bigger dot as the head. For the antennas, you can either drag a line using a toothpick or draw in two little lines using a detail brush. Finish with two little white dots for the eyes. If you're doing this for your other hand, you can draw the designs on a Ziploc bag and go over with top coat. When it's dry, you can easily peel it off with tweezers. 
apply clear coat over the nail and place the design on top. Because it is made out of nail polish also, it will melt into the wet polish underneath it. Then go over with a layer of top coat to seal it in. You can find a full tutorial on this method by clicking on the Pikachu nail tutorial linked in the info box below. For the remaining nails, just add in a couple of random red dots to decorate. When you're done, apply top coat for a long lasting finish. If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favorite playlist. Please subscribe for updates, I upload new videos every Thursday, Wednesday if you're in the US or Canada. Check out my spring playlist linked below for more nail art inspirations. Thanks for watching.